It was a day to remember and honor lost loved ones, as over a dozen family members and advocates shut down Camby Street in Vancouver. Canada needs to step up and seek justice for Indigenous people and Indigenous women. When I say no more, you say stolen sisters, no more! Stolen no more! Stolen no more! Banners were dropped from the Camby Street Bridge to help raise awareness. These pictures represent daughters, sisters, mothers, nieces, aunts, and friends. At City Hall, over 100 people were there, including elementary school kids who helped sing the Women's Warrior Song. As red dresses hung in the trees, symbolizing the thousands of murdered and missing women and girls across Canada. Even the statue of Captain Vancouver was utilized to spread the message. Sheila Poorman's 25 year old daughter, Chelsea Poorman, went missing September the 7th, 2020, after going out with her sister for a night on the town in downtown Vancouver. They got separated, and the last thing Chelsea told her sister on the phone was that she met a new bay. Then her phone was turned off. She hasn't been heard from since. I made the missing persons report September 8th. The Vancouver Police Department did not put her in the media until about 10 days later. They did not check the video surveillance of the cameras in that area, which was so discouraging because they lost a lot of time and they lost a lot of footage that could have helped. The Butterflies and Spirit Dance Group is wearing the picture of 45-year-old April Prisian. She went missing in April of 2020 near Spuzzum, B.C. Police believe she may have met with foul play and has not been found. The entire dance group has a missing and murdered family member. I danced to honor my aunt, uh, Iris Frank. She was taken from us in 1980. And I also danced to honor my son. His name is Ethan Frank Blackford. He has an aunt named Lisa Marie Young. She went missing. Um, June 30th, 2002. Why, highway, I, highway, I, highway, As the event came to a close, everyone here is praying for answers as to what happened to their murdered or missing loved one and will justice finally prevail. The city of Vancouver lit up City Hall and the Broad Street Bridge in red to honor those that have been lost or murdered. Tina House, APTN National News, Vancouver.